Given all that's happened for Facebook the last couple of months, they just posted their earnings, and the stock is up about 4% after hours on the results. Joining us for more reaction are Ross Gerber from Gerber Kawasaki and Kevin Landis from First Hand Capital Management. Welcome to you both. Ross, I know you turned a little bit less positive on the stock here lately with all their privacy troubles. Um, what is the quarter, the fact that they're monetizing so well, do to uh, make you feel more positive about them if it does? Well, yes and no. I mean, it, obviously, it was a great quarter, and and they didn't really have those problems sort of baked into the earnings last quarter. So we're really going to have to see how this confluence of maturity of the social media business here in, in the Western Hemisphere, um, the higher costs for uh, you know employees and monitoring services, and and most importantly, greater regulation. That's that's why the story has changed and why we trimmed our position. The future of Facebook is going to be a lot harder than the past. Um, so you know they're in a great place to to sort of resolve their issues, um, and they seem to be in a pathway to doing that. Um, mm -hmm. But it's not the same investment it was two years ago mm -hmm. or three years ago. And Kevin, that's kind of the point that Rob Cox was just making. He said, you know, comparing it to Microsoft back in the early 2000s, he said that company kept growing, put up larger numbers, but the stock was mired uh, because the market just didn't think favorably of it. Is Facebook in similar territory now right. or no? I, I think people are still really hooked on it. Um, occasionally, it gives you the creeps. I, to me, it's a really simple test. Does logging on to Facebook give you the creeps? If it does, that's really, really bad for Mark Zuckerberg. If it doesn't, then everything's fine. Um, you know, it's, I guess people are shocked that they've given all the data that they've given to, data, uh, to, uh, to Facebook. But, you know, they only have what you've given them. And, uh, and you know, a lot of people this aren't is sort of shocked, an awareness by the way. Moment. So, Kevin, if right. they do have to keep hiring, if they are subject to more regulation, I mean, do you like this stock here? Do you think it can continue to grow? I think it can probably continue to appreciate. It's one of our top 10 positions. We're, we no plans on trimming it right now. Um, I, I guess one way to think about this is that regulation represents barriers to entry for new competitors coming in. It actually yeah. often helps the incumbents because they can afford it. Yeah, but I yeah, don't the, think they're the going to regulate had a whole startups. On that, Ross. No, but they had this whole spread about how much this regulation, especially what's happening in Europe, is already putting some of the smaller data companies out of business and actually reinforcing the market leading position of the giant ones. Well, in some ways that's true, but I, I would say that the truth of the matter, there's plenty of innovation in technology, and, and I'm not per se worried about that. I think as a Facebook shareholder, uh, once the regulators come in, I think Gunlex said it this week, they either, you have no regulation or you have far overreaching regulation, but there's nothing in the middle. So that's what we're concerned about. All right. And uh, earlier this week, Jeff Gunlock, of course, said he was shorting Facebook as part of a pair trade. That, that uh, concerns shares. us, too. You know, <laughs> well, you know Gun, Gunlock is pretty yeah. good. So No, he is, uh, I'm sure. Ross Gerber, Kevin Lannis, thank you both. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.